Oh, and, and here I am thinking the craziest thing that was happening today was me uploading an hour-long episode of NFL Questions from subscribers. Team, keep it clean. What's going on? St. Graven here with another video. And man, from about 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we got this influx of news on the Ravens. This guy's in, this guy's out, this guy's sick, this guy's out, this guy's up, this guy's activated, this guy injured, and it's like, man. But we, we, we've, we've grown so accustomed to that this season, and it's like, it's, it's weird because today just did not feel normal, probably because of everything with Lamar Jackson. Now, we know, of course, Lamar Jackson, he missed not one but two days of practice this week dealing with a sickness. He came back on Friday, had his presser and all that, said he was feeling good, said he was feeling great, he was straight. But then today, the and the Ravens had taken him off the injury report, but today they added him back on there because apparently he was getting some symptoms or something like that, and he just, he wasn't feeling it. So, you know, yeah, we got Tyler Huntley in the cut just in case Lamar Jackson can't go. But the Ravens took it a step further and said, they said, no, we, we're going to be extra safe. And they promoted um, Trace McSorley. They did a, a practice squad call up for Trace McSorley to the roster just in case Lamar is a no go. So obviously we want Lamar to be good to go. We want him to be the quarterback. But. If if he ain't good to go, it's, it's Tyler Huntley season. It is Tyler Huntley season. And he this would be the most action that he got um, in a regular season game ever. Ever. And it's crazy because if you if you all watched the presser with Lamar yesterday, I think Jamison Hensley, he talked about it. He was like, man. All these people, they, they, they talk about the possibility of you getting injured and missing time because you take so many hits. But the only thing that takes you out of the games is sicknesses. And that's crazy. But that's what it is. So, I mean, hey, we all, of course, hope Lamar Jackson gets better, first and foremost. Because that's most important. We want, we want them to get better and feel better. Um, but it's, it's just it's crazy to think about that. So then... All right, so that, that was one thing. So then uh, the Ravens, they, they got a little busy. They got a little busy because big, big Cleveland, big country. Ben Cleveland is back. He's officially on the active man roster. He's been practicing for like the last weekend change. So that's a beautiful thing. It's nice to see stuff like that when, when Ravens get guys back. But for every guy they get back, they got to lose one too. Pernell McPhee, injury reserve. Injury reserve. Now his playtime over the past couple of games, I noticed that it 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 hadn't really he hadn't really been out there like that. And maybe it's because he may have been dealing with an injury. I'm not sure, but now he is out, out. So I expect um, Jalen Ferguson. I expect his number to be called tomorrow. Like and it's crazy with the Ravens. Like who who's gonna be on the inactive list tomorrow? Who, who's gonna be there? Because so many guys be like, they, they, they be hurt already. So it's like Ravens inactive list doesn't even have, it's not even so long. Because so many guys be out already. It's like, it doesn't even, it's not even hard for them to choose. Okay, hmm, which guys are we going to, which guys are going to be healthy scratches today? It's hard when you ain't hardly got no healthy scratches. But anyway, um, so Ben Cleveland up. Pernell McPhee, he is down for at least... Uh, the next three games. So um, they did say Khalil McKenzie. Uh, he got signed to the 53-man roster from the practice squad. Uh, Joe Thomas, who they signed like a month ago, the inside linebacker he used to play for the Texans. They said that he got called up for the game tomorrow against the Bears. So Ravens been busy. They, they've been very, very, very busy. Uh, James Carpenter, he got cut from the practice squad. They had signed him a couple of weeks ago. The uh, offensive lineman uh, used to play for the Falcons. I think he used to play for the Seahawks too. But either way, he he got he got released, so he is gone. Um, wow, these guys have been super busy. But uh, one that is became official uh, for tomorrow. It's pretty upsetting. 
uh, because he was like back and forth, back and forth with the uh, the depth chart this week. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, um, he is inactive for the game tomorrow. They said he is out, out. Not oh, possibly he could play. Not oh, maybe he'll play. Oh, maybe he's questionable. He's doubtful. No, 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 no. He's out. He's completely out. So that's unfortunate uh, for the Ravens because that is their primary deep threat. Um, that has been their number one receiver this year. Um, and Hollywood is always just a big play away. Obviously, minus that uh, the Detroit and the Dolphins game because those were two uh, huge yikes for him. Those were his two worst games of the season. Uh, but he, him being out, that's big. Now, with Hollywood being out with a thigh injury, because remember, earlier this week, he was on the injury report for, like, I think his back. Then it was like, oh, man, what's going on with Hollywood? Oh, no. But then he practiced, and he was like, oh, okay, oh, Hollywood straight. Okay, oh, we good. And then they listed him on the injury report for his thigh. And like, oh, no, he, he practiced, though. He's straight. But now he's out. So it's like, oh, man. Now, so now we're we, we hoping that Sammy Watkins is healthy, like all the way. Because last week against the Dolphins, mm -mm. That, that was no healthy Sammy Watkins, at least not in my eyes. Um, now, Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman, he has shown that, hey, I'm ready. I'm here. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. And with Rashad Bateman, um, he, like, again, from jump, from jump, he let us know, like, oh, yeah, I've, I've arrived. He did it calmly, not in no cocky, no arrogant way or anything like that. But he gladly let us know, like, uh, yeah, I'm NFL ready. Let's do it. So tomorrow, um, Rashad Bateman is definitely uh, going to his role, which has been, it has, it's weird. Because with Rashad Bateman, first game that he played, I was thinking he wasn't going to really play that much. He may play like 10 to 12 snaps, maybe, nothing crazy. But they had him out there a lot, a lot. And then every week, they would have him out there a lot, and I'm like, oh man, these Ravens, they really love Rashad Bateman, but then in the Dolphins game, did anybody understand the lack of Rashad Bateman in that game? And there were points where, there were, there were points in the game when we were down, and, and the passing game needed something, but Rashad Bateman found himself on the sideline, and I just, I, I, I did not, I couldn't believe it, I didn't understand it, I just didn't get it, didn't make any sense whatsoever. But this game should not be like that. It should not be like that at all. At all. So we'll see uh, how that works itself out. But I would expect a big game from him tomorrow. And it's like he's been consistent. Like he'll be like around like four or five catches, about 75 yards. That's like his average for the games. Um, so, but tomorrow... So Hollywood out, Sammy Watkins, depending on how he is. Um, man, I'm still like we still have not got to truly see all of our wide receivers together at the same time. Cause that last week in Miami, that don't count. That don't count at all. I was thinking that that was gonna be that, but that that ain't count. Um, I still got people down here asking me what happened. Like even just today, me and my wife and um Carter and my wife's sister, we 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 went by their uncle's house. He's a Dolphins fan. He's like, man, what, what happened to those Ravens the other day against the Dolphins? Oh, man. He was like, oh, I think I think since all of them are from down here. Because he was saying some guys from North Lauderdale, some from Pompano, some from Miami. He's like, man, I guess they would, they just came down here to party. I'm like, what? Well, uh, I guess so. But anyway, <laughs> tomorrow we will officially, officially move on from the Dolphins game. But it's... Like, depending on, like, with these guys out and I don't know. If Lamar don't go, if he's a no-go, like, we rocking with Tyler Huntley for sure. But Tyler Huntley is not Lamar Jackson. But now with Tyler Huntley, if, if he ends up being the go-to for tomorrow, um, I would still be confident in the Ravens. It'd be a little less confident. Uh, and, and I know a lot of people would be a little less confident. And that's not a shot at Tyler Huntley at all. Um, but just the, uh, the inexperience and... Um, the uh this is this is like real deal. This is not a blowout game. You're not coming in to 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 spell them off for a blowout game. No, you're going in from jump. 
So it's gonna be fun. It, it, well, if he does play, it'll be it'll be fun regardless. Um, but with that being said, there's with Tyler Huntley, there's less pressure on him than it is a Lamar Jackson. So Tyler, I wouldn't, and, and you know Tyler Huntley, he he love he love letting him fly. He loved the deep shot, man. He loved letting them fly, man. Loves it. So, because, I mean, we saw it in a playoff game against the Bills. Uh, we saw it. Man, it was another game, too. I mean, we saw it all in the preseason, of course, too. But Tyler Huntley is not afraid to take that shot. So, Bateman, he's going to get his chance. Watkins going to get it. Whatever receivers out there, they're going to get their chances. Why? Because Tyler, if, if Tyler Huntley plays. Because with, with Tyler Hunt, and even if Lamar Jackson plays too, Rashad Bateman, they, they, Sammy Walker, they're going to get it. Because Hollywood ain't in. Hollywood is out. Hollywood is out. Lamar's favorite receiver is out. So now you, you have to use the other guys too. Uh, hopefully he used a little more to check down game as well. But with that being said, um, if Tyler Huntley is in, then I think that would, uh, it would make, it, make the opportunity for a lot of other guys to get involved. Especially because Tyler Huntley is a second string quarterback. He works with those twos and the threes at wide receiver. So his connection with them will be a little better. It could be a little better than it would be with like a Bateman or Watkins or whatnot. But he did get to practice with those guys this week when Lamar was out. So that would help his connection with the ones. So it's, this, tomorrow is going to be a very interesting game. It is going to be a very interesting game. And um, I know a lot of Ravens fans will be... Waiting and sweating around 1130 uh, when the active inactive list comes out. So that's going to be a sight to see. Uh, but anyway, team keep it clean. Wow. It, it, like, the, like I said, the, from 4 o'clock p.m. to 430, it was just a crazy 30 minutes because we just kept getting news after news after news after news after news. And, after, and it was just wild. Anyway, I love y'all. I really do appreciate y'all. Um Hollywood not playing tomorrow. I don't like it, but hey, get better. So it's it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. So we need Hollywood for the long haul. Lamar, same thing. Worst case scenario, if he can't play tomorrow, all right, okay. Huntley season, baby. Huntley season. So we'll see how all this thing goes, and that's gonna be that. So just like. Hollywood officially is, and Lamar Jackson could be as well when it comes to playing tomorrow. I'm out.